Netflix knows how to scale. We're getting pretty good at it. We know how to scale globally. In 2016, at the push of a button, we launched in 130 countries simultaneously. Today, we have 130 million customers in 190 countries worldwide. We know how to scale infrastructure. In the United States, during peak hours, we account for roughly one-third of all internet traffic. And we know how to scale data. Every day, we write more than one trillion events into our streaming ingestion pipeline. This data is processed and loaded into a 100 petabyte cloud-native data warehouse. We use this data to constantly improve the product. And we don't do this in one fell swoop. We are constantly testing and rolling out changes to the product experience iteratively. <laughs> we also try to innovate on the product. We recently launched Smart Downloads, which allow us to better serve our members in less developed countries while also reducing your bandwidth cost here domestically. We are on track to spend $8 billion on content this year alone. We use our data to help us understand how to best spend that money. We want to deliver content that is not just broadly compelling, but content that delivers a delightful experience to every one of our members. And lastly, we use the data to help us innovate in the studio engineering space and to push the boundaries of what's possible. Right now, we are experimenting with branching narratives, which is a choose-your-own-adventure uh, choose experience for our television series. So how have we done this? Well, we've done this scaling in large part through tools and infrastructure. And the question we're asking ourselves today is how can we best help our people scale? How can we make it easier for them to work with the data and do these really cool things for you guys? We believe the answer is, again, in large part, through tooling and infrastructure, which is why we are looking at Jupyter. We believe Jupyter is a very critical part of the strategy for us. So we're making some big bets around it. The first is that when we look at the future and we try to think, what does it look like to work with data, we think it looks an awful lot like a notebook experience. So we are going all in on Jupyter. We think that notebooks are capable of so much more than just an interactive experience. Right now, we are in the process of migrating 10,000 workflows to run through a notebook, which by the time we're done will be 150,000 notebook jobs every single day. And lastly, we believe that notebooks might help us cross the chasm that exists between our technical and non-technical people. When you look at the type of users we have in a company, we have the people who are primarily tasked with delivering a data product. These are your data engineers working on data sets or delivering a Tableau dashboard. That data and those products are used by people to then deliver insights on that data, which is used by people across the company to make data-informed decisions and to roll out new improvements to the product. Today, we are serving the people who most closely resemble data scientists with a notebook. And we want to constantly and continue to improve that experience for them as well. Right now, we are seeing an increase in the people who are primarily tasked with uh, producing data. They are increasingly using notebooks, and so we want to leverage notebooks for their experience as well. But we still have this chasm that exists between the people who primarily focus on working with data and people whose focus lies somewhere else. And it is our belief that a notebook is capable of delivering a single experience that can support every single type of user on this slide. That is why we are leaning into simplicity integration and collaboration with the UI. And that's why you're seeing the work that we're doing with Interact. Right now, we are committed to, um, to open sourcing the work 
that we do and to contributing it back to the projects whenever possible. And it is my sincere hope that you will collaborate with us so that we can collectively reimagine what it means to, look like, to work with data. Thank you.